Hey guys, how you doing? This is JP Saricolia coming to you once again. And before we get into today's video, I would like to invite you to like, to comment, and to subscribe if you like the content. Also, follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And I want to give thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. So once again, have a good day, and thanks for watching. A Salida Battle Angel is ready to premiere in theaters this week. Many people are wondering who is Salida? Where does she come from? And what is her story about? Today, I want to answer those questions. Perhaps this can help you appreciate her story and her unique world. Battle Angel Alida, or Ganma, as it's known in Japan, is one of the most iconic manga from the last 30 years. Created by legendary Yukito Kishiro in his early 20s, and published originally by Shuesa between 1990 and 1995, it became a cult classic in an instant. Although not the first manga series to arrive to North America, it is considered one of the most influential among the early arrivals, an intricate cyberpunk tale with a lot of rich layers. The original manga is divided into 53 chapters, which are collected into nine volumes. Today, I want to concentrate on volume one. It is the perfect introduction to the series. Battle Angel Alita tells the story of Alita, or Gari, as known in Japan, an amnesiac female cyborg. Her head and chest are found by a cybernetics physician called Daisuke Ito, while searching in the local garbage dump. He's able to revive her, but unfortunately she has no recollection of who she is and where she comes from. In response, Ito decides to name her Alita, after his deceased cat. The post-apocalyptic dystopian world of Alita revolves around a city called the Scrapyard, a city built around a heap of trash below the suspended city of Salem, or Tifares, as it was known initially in the first English translation. Ground dwellers are forced to work in the factories and farms, but have no direct contact with the floating utopia. The Scrapyard is a lawless place, and most of its inhabitants have cybernetic parts to cope with their hard environment. Daisuke loves Alita as a father loves a daughter. He gives her a new body and she is so happy with it. During the day, Ido helps people with their cybernetic parts. But during the night, he's a hunter-warrior. Hunter-warriors are mercenaries or bounty hunters paid by the city of Salem to kill criminals. After discovering that she's an expert of Panzer Kunst, the strongest Martian martial art for human cyborgs, Alita decides to become a hunter-warrior against Daisuke's wishes, motivated by her own desire to fight. It is then when Alita encounters her first deadly opponent, a psychopath named Makaku. In the battle that ensues, Alita's body is destroyed. Daisuke saves her at the last minute, but he's severely wounded as well. Fortunately, they both survive and with the help of Gansu, Ida's friend, Alita gets a new body a berserker's body from the old wars, a perfect killing machine. With her new body, Alita and Ido decides to go after Makaku. They stop at a local bar where hunter-warriors gather looking for help. While in there, Makaku shows up, now in possession of a more powerful body. He kidnaps a baby with the intention of luring Alita into a trap inside the old city sewers. Knowing the risk, she accepts the challenge and promises to save the baby before jumping down the hole. A final showdown is about to begin. The art of Battle Angel Alita is spectacular, truly cinematic. Every panel, every drawing, every movement is full of kinetic energy, pleasant to the eye and easy to follow. This is the perfect book for those who are new to manga. Just keep in mind the mature nature of its content. This manga is not for small children, or for the faint of heart due to its graphic violence and gore. It is important to point out that Kodansa Comics holds the rights of distribution in the United States since 2017. They publish a new translation of the series which is closer to the Japanese language and the creator's intent. The new translation has been a point of contention among older fans who are fond of the original English version. Personally, I prefer word-for-word -word over thought-for-thought -thought translations. As a bilingual speaker, I understand the difficulty of translating from one language to another 
without sacrificing meaning in the process. Furthermore, I had read both versions and considered the newer far superior in literary quality over the older. Cadenza also made significant changes to the art and the reading format. Besides replacing the English onomatopoeia with Japanese kanji, the new version can be read from right to left as traditional manga. The original English version was made from left to right in order to please Western audiences. In conclusion, Battle Angel Alita is one of the best manga ever created, a post-apocalyptic cyberpunk delight, a coming-of-age story with important philosophical and existential questions, questions like what makes us human and what means to be human. For these reasons and more, you should give Alita a try. I promise you will not be disappointed. Final score, 9 out of 10. Now, you can find the nine volumes in digital and soft cover. Uh, Kadansa also published a six-volume hardcover box set of the entire series. Uh, you can purchase any of these hardcovers separately as well. Uh, just remember to look for the newer translation. Uh, this media was the publisher of the old one. So once again, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you're reminded of the next video. And uh, uh, stay tuned for the review of the movie uh, next week. And also, I'm going to continue reviewing the next volumes in the, in the series uh, and, and see how far we can go with that. But uh, once again, thanks for listening, and God bless you. Have a great day. I can